Well, I wasn't going to record this, but I think it's interesting. It's interesting as a Montrealer to hear a guy playing accordion as if this was like, you know, Paris. It's a good, it's a good way to go, actually. It makes sense. I make that a woman. It makes sense. You know, I can see the Americans digging that because a lot of them, they think we're pretty much French like France and, you know, we all drive Citroëns. I, I'm just kidding about that. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking, but some, actually, in some capacity, I'm dead, dead fucking serious about that. Because I'll never forget that time, okay? I was with my parents before they split up. We were at a fucking pizza hut in Richmond, Virginia. And the lady, she comes over to the waitress. She's like, where are you all from, you know? From Montreal. Never heard of it. Can you fucking believe that? One of the most important and amazing cities in the world. Never heard of Montreal. And unfortunately, Amer Americans, specifically to the south, okay? And the Midwest and all that, they don't fucking know. They don't know. They don't know about Montreal. So at least my channel and my videos certainly educates a lot of that, doesn't it? So I was going to do a video about uh, walking on uh, uh, on Jacquard Street down there, but I don't know. Ever since I heard that woman over there playing that, har that uh, did I say harmonica? I'm sorry, that's not what I meant to say. It's not a harmonica, it's a, um, what do you call it? Um, accordion, accordion. I don't know, what the hell is I'm thinking of harmonica? Sometimes I don't know what I say when I'm filming because I, I'm so distracted by so many things. You know what I'm saying? So it's just... But you can see there's a lot of pl uh, plates here from out of state. New York, Vermont, New Jersey, Massachusetts. You know? Over a cobblestone streets filled with fucking colorless cars. Never ending, unfortunately. So, on that note, let us commence walking here on the beautiful Rue Saint-Paul, Saint Paul Street, where uh, souvenir shops and bars and restaurants reign supreme, baby. You know? Actually, come to think of it, I thought they had banned some of the cars from being on this street. Oh, maybe it's because it's blocked down there, I guess. Yeah. Look at this, eh? See what I mean? Colorless fucking cars. You know? Christ almighty. It reminds me of that song I discovered recently. It was done by Chicago that I love. And then I heard it, I played it recently. It's called uh, Color My World by Chicago. And it's, it's a beautiful fucking song. And every I heard it, I was playing it on YouTube. I'm like, man, that, that song takes me back to being a kid and listening to, to Oldies 990 CKGM, you know, on the radio. You know what I'm saying? And uh, there's no lack, of, uh, no lack of art available in this city, whether it's originals or prints. Of course, the day, of course, I have my artwork in an art gallery this fancy is probably going to be the fucking day the hell freezes over because I'm stubborn and frankly, I don't think my art is maybe that good enough. I don't know. It doesn't fit the uh, schematics of it all. Anyway, the, 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 the styles, you know, the scenics and the, the landscapes and the fucking abstracts. Yeah, fine, fine. How you doing there? Anyway, and, uh, and, and fucking, uh, you know, I'm just, I mean, me, I'm a fucking Christ. You know, you, some of you see my painting, so I can painting a Metro painting of 58 Plymouth, which I have to finish that painting. And it's just, uh, it's, you know, it's like, it doesn't, doesn't fit in with these galleries. But maybe eventually, if I did have enough paintings, I would put them in a gallery. And I'm hesitant to walk on our narrow sidewalks because there's too many people, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, one of the things I love about the old port, the thing I love the most, frankly, it's all these extremely old buildings. Uh, buildings that were made before the turn of the century. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's next year or the year after Montreal is going to celebrate like uh, almost 400 years in existence. So a lot of these buildings were built in the 1800s. Some of them, a few of them before that. And look at this one here. There was a building right here, long, long time ago, man. Long, long time ago. Right now, this is Saint Laurent Street. But look at this. Back in the day, and when I mean back in the day, I mean like over probably a hundred years ago, there was a house there, and there was a house there. There's the whole indentation. Is that cool or what? And you see that repeatedly, not too often, but pretty repeatedly, uh, you know, here in Old Montreal. Yeah. only the cars were as interesting as the buildings to look at, eh? Yeah. Anyway, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Oh, sorry, Mr. Cab Driver. 
Yeah. Ah, this is the part I was talking about where no cars are allowed. Mm. Yeah, I think you know, we're not going to be surprised when I tell you that Montreal right now has seen a spike in tourism this year compared to all the other years in the last, oh fuck, a good probably 15 years even, you know. And that's uh, La Jacques Cartier where I was thinking about doing my video, but I'm like, ah, I'll do it another, another time. I like St. Paul Street, and I like all of you, Montreal. Yeah, look at that. Huh? Yeah. If you're an art lover, man, this is the fucking place to be. Check that out. Look at that. Speaking of, I should say art. And look at that. There's a fucking painting of an old Dodge Ram. Wow. What a trip. Looks like one of the many you would see in my neighborhood. Actually, oddly enough, it also looks like a, a fucking ex-Bell truck like my dad would have driven. The same thing with the, the two doors on the side with the windows, you know? My goodness, look at all the people. The people, the people. Look at that. That's the courthouse over there, by the way. Built in the early 70s, I think it was open. Wow, it's like way too many people here. I, I'm definitely not wa I don't know if I'm going to walk the whole fucking street, frankly, because I don't like crowds, really. Not really. I don't know. I think part of me, as I've grown older, I've just become more and more weary about people and things. and I don't know why that is. I don't know. The brain is a funny thing, but not ha-ha funny. You know what I'm saying? Seriously. I love but pretending to be a tourist in my own town, you know what I'm saying? Can you dig it? Yeah, she can. Look at that, there's a, uh, you see that uh, tower over there that looks like uh, the uh, the uh, the roof on the White House? Well, that's the uh, Marche Bosacor Market. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Alpha. Right here at the corner of St. Gabriel, St. Gabriel, where the sign got really bent up for some reason. And then Hyundai XL from Ontario. And another colorless car, but a Land Rover. Yeah. Oh, and you see, look, 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 look. Here's what I'm talking about. See? There used to be a house here, another house. Look at all those fucking stones, man. You know that was all made by hand back in the day. You know, maybe there was a garage here or something, a stable, I don't know, for the horses, you know? <laughs> Can you dig it? You know, and look, 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 look. Look at that. Look at the contrast on the, the courthouse in the background with the maybe a turn of the century house. Again, black. Everything's fucking black. Everything's fucking black, eh? God forbid cars should have color today. I, I, you know, sometimes I'm thinking I'm the only one who fucking complains about this. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. I guess that makes me a freak then. I guess that's what it is. It is what it is. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, 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 yeah. You are so bad. I wonder what the percentage of people here walking around here are tourists, actually. I would say, take a guess, I would say it's 60%. Probably 60%. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful building? Huh? Is that a beautiful thing or what? That's just, not just because of the uh, Quebec flag there. Whoa. Poor little fella. Yeah, it's Zimone, yeah, it's Zimone, goddess. What I just said was there's a goddamn lot of people. Wait a minute, I want to see something here. Hmm. Stairs. Well, I think this video is going to be longer than 10 minutes, that's for sure. That's okay. I got the battery. I got the plan, baby. Got the plan. Oh, 
You know what? I think I, I went to this bar once many moons ago. I think some of those guys are hammered. I think I'm just going to fast forward over here so I stay out of trouble. You know how fucking guys are. You know it ain't going to be chicks like that. You know how fucking rare it is to see a cat fight. <laughs> you know, I said plush shark cards here before. I'm sorry. When I said the street below that's parallel to this street, which we're on right now, which is, well, where I'm on is Saint is uh, Saint Paul. I made a mistake. This right here is Plage Jacques Cartier. That street down there, that's De La Commune. I'm sorry about that, my bad. You know, I'm a fucking idiot, what can I say? I mean, really, like everybody, I'm flawed, you know? But that's okay. That's all right, that's okay. Look at this, eh? Some nice prints here. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Right on. You know how many people have suggested for me to do the same thing, to come down here and get selected through my, um, some sort of a fucking panel, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 uh, and then sell my prints. So yeah, this is easier said than done, believe me. And I think it's like 700 bucks a year anyway, so. Hey, look at that, eh? Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that picture. Look at those trucks, cars. Yeah, taking, looks like 1940s. Look at that, eh? Isn't that something? Look at the ghost. Look at, well, they're not ghost as, but back then, look, Robin Hood flower. Wow, that's awesome. You guys just got a nice little bonus there. You know what I'm saying? There's a few other pictures here, too. Look at that. That, that. Isn't that something? Look at the fucking trains. Yeah, because the port of Montreal for shipping was really right here. It was here, but they moved it all. I guess because probably there was too many people in the area, it proved to be uh, hazardous for them. Too dangerous, too many trains moving around, trucks and everything. Speaking of which, here we are. Here's the same spot. It's back in the day. Plage Jacquard's here. Look at all the trucks. 1930s, it looks like. You imagine how many Chevrolets, Dodges are here. Fucking, Pl uh, not Plymouth, but Fords. Uh, Rio Speedwagons, Oldsmobiles, Packers. Oh, the fucking list goes on and on. There were cars back then that even made, they even, car companies back then even made, uh, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. That's, see, that's what I'm talking about, thinking outside the box. Look at the steamship here, check that out. Look at that. You know, steamer. Wow. People there, right there on the, uh, by the railings there on the, the dock there, the, uh, there's the Jacques Cartier Bridge, I think, back there. I love old photographs. I don't know why I'm saying that. I think it's pretty obvious. Look at the beautiful pa paintings here. Nice reproductions. Look at this fantastic tall ship. Damn. Oh, this is nice. I like when the city goes like this and, and uh, you know, focuses on our history, you know? Excuse me. There's another one here. Very nice. Okay, I veered off here, but whatever, fuck, you know. Whatever. Wait, let me get a better shot of that, actually. Wow, look at the ship and all the buildings. Wow, that's really cool. Anything else here? Because I'm going to go back on the street and at least finish the street. I'm not filming the whole street, but you know what I'm saying? I want to do most of it anyway. Look at that, eh? Look at that. H. Levy and Company. Fancy goods. <laughs> Import, importers of jewelry and fancy goods. Real inish, real inish, imitation, imitation hair. Shango manufacturers. Wow. Right on. Scrap. More scrap. Fucking 
junk. I fucking can't stand them. I can't stand the STM. Fucking cockroaches. All right, let's go back to um, let's go back to Saint Paul. I like how there's a stop sign here. You know, that, that's an interesting. Uh, that's a good one. That's because you're in Montreal. People drive like lunatics. So if you don't have a stop sign, they're not going to even slow down. They just go right through you. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? So back on the uh, Rue Saint Paul, Saint uh, Paul Street. A little, a little less people there, right? Look at that beautiful dog. What a beautiful pooch. Very nice. Bet you he's friendly too. Oh, he looks friendly. Yeah, more souvenirs. Souvenirs de Montréal. Fancy, fancy, schmancy eating, restaurants. Huh? Life is good. Enjoy it. You know? And, uh, but you see, there's nice, there's more of a calm in this area usually, you know? It's nice. Wait a second, I want to see something here. This place, man. I, thought, I was looking to see if there was an elevator in here. Look at those doors, man. Man, this is something. Check that out. Shaped like a key. Very, uh, very effective. Oh, oh! You broke it, you pay for it. <laughs> anyway, like I said earlier, there's, uh, there's the Marche Bon Secours. Bon Secours Market. There's a live band playing over here. Yeah. Yeah, well, the fucking day I can dine down here on a regular basis, that's the fucking day I've made it. You know what I mean? Jesus H. Christ. I'm just a poor schmo who lives, uh... Fucking lives, uh... In Hachalaga, you know? I wouldn't mind living here. Hey, are you kidding me? I wouldn't mind living here at all. Jesus. Man, this video is going on 20 minutes, huh? But that's all right. That's all right. We're gonna rock all night, rock all night, oh, rock all night until the early light. I'm just kidding about that, of course. You know me. I'm just a big fucking joker. Look at this. I, even the old port is not is not uh, apart from all the construction in this city. It's never ending. Never ending construction. It never ends. Look at that, man. I was tired earlier. Now I'm not feeling that bad after the eating all that fucking General Tao chicken and rice. Yeah, man. It's kind of healthy, kind of not. Mostly not. Sorry about that. Once again, I'm uh, you know, kind of uh, giving into my trying to give into my fetish for elevators, you know, specifically the vintage ones. So I'm checking for unlocked doors, you know. Uh, look at all this fucking shit. This is like putting a fucking kibosh on my thing here, you know, my tour here. You know, what I'm saying my virtual tour. Fuck sake. Fuck sake, Ricky. Just like uh, Julian would say there in the TPP there, Trailer Park Boys. You guys remember Leahy though? He was the fucking best. Hey Leahy, he'd be like, just another drink, Julian. Just another drinky poo. <laughs> fucking greatest show ever made. Hey, that guy just walked across me. Did you notice that? He looked like Quentin Tarantino. Holy fuck, it could have been him. Which is funny because I was watching one of his movies this week called Death Proof. It's great. Great movie. I want to see something here. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, let's get a, a shot right here, man. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You think they copied the White House? Or was it that uh, the architects of the White House copied the people who did the Marche Bosa Court? Maybe, yeah. Hmm? Huh? Possible. People have been copying people since the beginning of fucking time. It's like I was telling my friend the other day. The Corvair. Okay? The Corvair. The Corvair was really built because GM copied Volkswagen. The whole yeah. rear engine air cool thing. Think about that. The fucking Volkswagen Beetle came out in 1938 by that fucking prick, biggest prick ever lived, fucking Nazi fucking son of a bitch Adolf Hitler. And then he made the fucking Volkswagen van, or not him, but somebody in Volkswagen, in 1954, right? And and there you go. So what do you think GM did? They wanted a new product. They want, always wanted to do something different, something new, something, uh, you know, that's outside of the box. And there you go, a rear engine fucking compact car, the Corvair, hence copying the Volkswagen. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I'm going to keep fucking doing these tours for a long time. I love entrances like that. Look at that brick all around, fucking floor to ceiling almost. They ain't never going to make that again. They'll never make anything like you see here again. Why do you think it's so fucking popular down here in old Montreal? Why is that? It's the history, it's the soul, man. It's the fucking history, it's the details to everything, the beauty of it all. You know? 
Why do you think so many people don't like condos? Fucking condos. What the fuck are they doing here? What is this? What are they covering here? What are they covering a lasagna for? What is this fucking shit? I know it smells bad. Oh, uh, yeah, this tour is starting to wane a little bit due to the goddamn much oil never in, this, in construction. Now, I just remember what I, was, what I wanted to say. So I was thinking, you know, I love doing this so much now, these, these walking tours like a lot of you, is that I'm going to also keep doing this uh, also uh, in the winter. But the only thing is, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to make them because even though I have two batteries, you guys, I don't think, realize how fast uh, a fucking battery gets killed off uh, when it's, you know being used constantly when it's really cold uh, however that being oh look at that nice town car there oh yeah what was I gonna say about that oh yeah those of you who don't know much about cars now a car's battery a car's battery is only there actually to start the car once the car is running it's no longer using the battery hence you, the engine is running Everything else is running off the engine. So all the power excesses are everything due to the alternator that's on the motor. This is beautiful. I love this part right here. Look at that. So beautiful. It's so beautiful. Say tell me beautiful, Sacramento. Call this. Huh? Beautiful. Looks like that Mercedes. Very nice. Very nice. Look at that. Boy, I'm sure some people must have stopped watching this a long time ago. Like, fuck, I keep watching this, but I can't stop swearing, can't stop fucking talking all the time. What can I tell you, man? I'm high on life. I'm high on summer. Summertime and the living is easy. Fish are jumping, don't you know, my darling? Straight up to the sky, la la la. I'm fucking crazy. I love it. It's great. It's great. Not a matter of fact, I'm not. Recently, I met these two guys. Some of you saw the videos, those two American guys I was riding with in their marquee and one of them told me he's like you know he's like Eldon he says he says after talking to him a long time he says I don't think you're tripping and I'm like shit man I'm like yeah he's right actually I don't think he was just up talking about like just smoking a joint I just think he meant like you know doing a lot of wild shit and stuff and I think I'm gonna stop here man this is too long now it's like 25 minutes long now you know Ugh. Yeah, okay, well, uh, you know, since I'm a perfectionist, uh, perfectionist uh, my crafts here, yeah, I figure I'll, I'll finish this up right here. Since I'm almost at, uh, I think it's Berry Street. And uh, there's much, way less people here, by the way, just because of the fact that, uh, you know, it's just, this is really more of a residential area. It's a bit commercial, you know, but this is not, it's not a tourist place. You know what I'm saying? So... Let me just see something here. Ah, crap. Again, vintage elevator. I can't access it. Oh, well. Someday. So, we'll keep moving along here. Moving along. Moving along. Yeah. Mind you, there was, look, there was a guy standing there, like, you know, buzzing his buddy and they go in or whatever. But I'm like, ah, I better not fucking. It's going to look kind of weird. Even me, I have my limits, you know? Sometimes you gotta have limits. Hey, it's fucking hot as hell now, man. I'm fucking like, holy shit, what's this place? Oh, man, don't tell me there's another old fucking elevator there, too. What is this fucking place? Okay, guys, we've seen, we've reached the uh, end of the street here, yeah, end of the street. Yeah, do St. Paul, St. Paul Street, there you go, summertime. And today is uh, the 4th of September, day before Labor Day. There's a nice sob or sob, however you want to say it. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Here we are at, uh, oh, wait a minute. Fuck, you know what? Holy shit, look at the backlog of cars. Oh, this is a good ending. Look at that. Look, see how popular old Montreal is? There's your proof right there. Look at all these fucking cars waiting to come down here. And what the hell is that? I don't know what that is. Some sort of security van. I think it's a uh, Montreal courthouse van. I think this thing brings suspects, actually. 
There's an old fucking camper there. Yeah, it looks like it could be an old Toyota or something. Yeah, anyway. Bye.